Okay, uh, change some settings. Let's see if that is better. Just had to create a new new uh, stream for that. But hopefully uh, it will work better now. No, I forgot to turn on some settings for the encoding. And I can't do that while being live, so I had to end the stream and create a new one. A ref3? No. Where did you buy the parts? Uh, 2,000 different shops. Most of the stuff from AliExpress. Everything electronics from JLC for the board or the other parts from DigiKey. Okay, and the last bit are the encoders. Borns, burns. Whatever. No, there's no kit. These are decent. Not the best in the world, but more than good enough, in my opinion. What happens here? Jesus. Let's use the bend for the thumb stuff. No, at my job, I don't, I don't build. At my job, I design these parts. Okay, make sure they all set flush, yep. And solder them in. Start with the, uh, with the big contacts that just hold the encoder in place, then move to the next one so it can cool down and then do the pins. Because if you do all the pins in one go, the encoder can get a bit too hot. Um, and the Borns encoders really don't like getting too hot. So now we made the round, we'll do this. Top two pins are for the switch, for the push functionality. And the bottom three are for the encoder functionality. Okay. Give me one second on YouTube. I think I need to change one more setting. Any news on your Kirkulis? It's done. Any way to get the files DIY'd or is there an off the shelf? Uh, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Probably both. Okay, so that's the rear done and the front done. Four encoders. Resistance is okay. There will be two thumb rotaries as well, two funky switches and the buttons. 
And yeah, that's that's it for this part. We still need the two encoders later. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Wait, there's one switch. Yeah, this board is like, how much did I pay for this? Around 50 euros or so, plus the parts I had to solder in. Okay, this all plastic waste goes into a separate waste. Soldering with the felt on the bottom? Nah, there's, there's enough uh, distance. Also, I actually have a fire... Uh, extinguisher in this room so we should be we should be good okay what do we what do they want us to do next we did um did this stuff here display spacer okay i need to see if i uh, it's so many parts wait we can break out this thing here now <coughs> in theory. In the bin. Okay, what do we have here? Uh, nothing? Um, this wheel uses, uh, this is a hall sensor. Switches. I don't think we need the soldering iron right now. What the hell is this? Ah, I use this to program the board super professionally. Okay, then what I bought from Pokorni. is this here, the front with the grips. Feels pretty nice. Uh, could be a little bit bigger, but I'm not gonna complain. More plastic, uh, diffuser stuff. What the hell is this? I think this is what we actually need for the, for the wall core, the spacer. Uh, this is the glass for the front, carbon fiber parts, more carbon fiber parts for the rear. Tons of screws, more um, of this here. 3D printed parts, we will need these next. Let's actually see if the Vocor works, because I I didn't want to buy a Vocor, so I took one out of an old GSI wheel. Cheaper than <laughs> buying a Vocor. <clears throat> Do them. works uh, I sourced the parts myself <clears throat> okay we do not need this here right now we do not need any of this I think we are building the shifter and stuff next or we'll glue on the Vocor. Uh, the GT Max uses a 5-inch screen. 
I'll just use hot glue. Panotech's favorite thing in the world. A build video, I mean, this is a YouTube live stream as well, so it basically is also a build video. Close enough. Yeah, it's true, but I don't have any double-sided tape. They do recommend double-sided tape, but uh, I don't have any, so we'll use hot glue. I have enough of these screens here, so if one breaks, whatever. <coughs> Top-down cam? Yeah, true, but uh, I don't have enough mounts. Okay. Okay, now we need this here. PCB is done. We need this here. I don't feel like wiring the encoders now. We'll build the shifters next. Uh, I ordered these at JLC PCB. I think this looks pretty good, to be honest. You could print them yourself, but it's very cheap to have it print and you cannot get the same quality when printing at home compared to like these industrial 3D printers, to be honest. Um, I think we need those here. And now we have to press in these inserts. I have a Bamboo Lab and a Creality K1 Max here. 
but you do not get the same quality as JLC. Forget it. Like they have printers that are really good. Hey. Hey. Uh, I ordered that from from Pokorny, the carbon fiber stuff. It's Frapti. Thank you so much for the rate. Hope you had a good stream. Appreciate it. Um, I need to find the freaking inserts. There they are, I think. M um, three times six. Let me check the, the bomb really quickly. Um, if there's something else. Yep, they are back illuminated. Insert. Brass threaded insert. Three times four times six? No. No, I think these are the correct ones. fun. Not. <coughs> uh, this one is better. This is the TS-101. Uh, more plasticky version. Still can do USB C and also DC barrel check. Player is always crashing. Okay, what do we need? Like 250 degrees or so. 300, 250. Okay, I will probably need something to hold it in place because this part is always annoying as hell. That was actually relatively easy. Do you see it properly? Not really.
Okay, first shifter done. Or shifter buddy. Setting flush. Oh, hot. So just apply heat, let it melt in, slightly turn it to release the hot tip from the insert and you're good to go. Sometimes it will not work properly and you need something like this to hold it in place. Not ideal, but it's fine. Good thing about this is it's really very, very easy to build. Why do we? Oh. <coughs> I think everybody can do this. Yep, very good. Next one done. One is a little bad, but it's fine. Are there special like uh, solder iron tips for this kind of stuff? Probably, huh? But once you get the drill, it's kind of like not a big deal. You have to source the parts yourself. And the last one. But it's like you get the, the bill, bill of material with links and everything. There's tons of stuff you need to source from AliExpress. I mean, you can also buy it from Amazon, then it arrives quicker. But I think one package that I ordered got lost, uh, magnets. But everything else arrived like within one or two weeks. So if you plan on, on building this, just buy the parts early. Then familiarize yourself with the rest. I mean, the PCBs, if you don't order them from Pokorni, take like a week to be built as well. Um, and in general, take your time, read the manual. This is always the most annoying part of those builds, I think. Okay, so those are the four shifter pedals, bodies. Um, clutch, I guess the clutch needs to get the same treatment, right? Let me see in the manual clutch. Uh, and we'll just do that now as well. While we are at it, turn the camera slightly. Earthquake, sorry. Uh, not ideal with my hand covering, but oh well.
smooth. And the last one. Yeah, I think I paid around six to 700 euros in parts. And like I said, I'll I'll build this and once it's done and works and I showed it a bit on stream, I'm going to sell it for whatever I paid for it. So you can basically get a fully fully built wheel by just paying the material. And the last one. <clears throat> if anybody still wants it after watching the stream. <laughs> oh, that was easy. A bit deeper. Perfect. <clears throat> okay, that's it for now with the inserts. I hope. I hate this stuff. <coughs> uh, no kit, no. You can source a lot of parts directly from Pokorni, but not all of them. Okay, what do we need next? Um, switches. Where did I put the switches? I had them here. And screws. So these are the switches. Doesn't use hall sensors for um, the shifter, just these micro switches. Works just as fine. Only problem with micro switches is it can wear a bit quicker than a hall sensor. Published on Discord, what do you mean? What power supply? Uh, one USB-C, I don't know. <clears throat> Just a USB-C power delivery, power supply. I think this is a 120 watt, but uh, it probably doesn't really matter at all what you use there. I can use it with the 60 watt USB-C from the PC. Typically, today it didn't really want to because like for few effects, you know. Okay, uh, switch next. We directly screw this into the... Okay. Can can man making? What do I need for that? M2 by 10. Okay. My little box. No, no. Maybe we'll make like a, a screw. What is this? Standoffs? A screw bag. M3. Tiny screws. Rings, buttons, USB cable, nuts, big screws. M2, 10 millimeter. There we go. Why do I have switched just twice? Eh. Okay, what is this? Maybe this here? Now I'm using both. Yes. Doppelt held besser. Oh. 
This desk is too small for building stuff. Oh, that works well though, here. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So this just screws directly. Where's the focus? Uh, who needs who needs focus? Just don't tighten it like to death, because it's still screwed into plastic. But it's just like the micro switch. You don't have to tighten this a lot. And since it's also going in plastic, it will not unscrew itself. It's like auto loctite and then uh, uh, switch good that's easy some more i still don't really understand how this aliexpress works like you you order these screws for like 80 cents including shipping like what Diameter, uh, what is it? 290, 300? I don't know. I forgot to buy a uh, Schrumpfschlauch, but that's fine. Yeah, but shipping. How does that work with shipping? Shipping from China is extremely subsidized from the Chinese government. Oh, okay. Okay, now we have two like this. We need to make it symmetrical so that the switch always shows like this little part to the bottom when mounted. Totally, like it doesn't matter at all. But yeah, I am that OCD, so. So, like this. Correct. Yeah. It's kind of funny how you can see the desk shake. It's not the camera. The camera is on a tripod on the floor. It's the desk that is sh desk that is shaking. Uh, I think around seven hundred euros. Maybe a bit more. Maybe a bit less. All right, switch for the shifters. What's next? Brass <laughs> shaft. Press stuff into stuff. It's recommended to use the vise for that. The links are all in the bomb. Yes. Wait, can I actually do I have a scene with a with a display capture? Here. Um, this is how the bomb looks like. See, you get this stuff here and then all the links where you can source it and stuff. Uh, it's really good and you also get like this. What? No, don't close it. The assembly manual. So yeah, it's, it's really well done. Yeah, the video will stay online on YouTube. Okay, four times eight times six brass bushing. 
What is vice? Four, six, eight. This one here. And what else do I have here? Doesn't say anything. I uh, will see which one makes more sense. Where is this here? Wait, four, six, eight. And what is this? Four, six, eight. Miami Vice, yes. <laughs> yeah, this one is not the correct size. How long did it take you to procure um, maybe an hour of, of ordering stuff? I didn't print, I didn't do any 3D printing myself. I ordered everything at JLCPCB. Okay. I guess those are these. Uh, advice for that. <laughs> It is recommended to use your hands for this. Okay, that's that. Camera image actually looks pretty decent here for this quick setup. Plastic garbage, garbage. Okay, now we need the shaft pin. Now this would be a problem, I think. This no, it should be fine. Um, where is that for things? Should be those here. How's the quality of these industrial printer compared to the normal plastic pressing? Uh, quality is very, very good. And how is this supposed to hold in place? Ah, I see. I see. Oh, I should maybe do it on camera. Um, so this basically goes in here. And then you have a shifter. I don't know, like maybe if you're insanely weak, but this is... Just use a guitar pick to not scratch the body. <laughs> nice. Uh, okay.
Yeah, this one here, for example, will not hold in place. Is that the pin? No, it's the print. Okay. Then we'll need a drop of glue for that. But not now. Magnets. I don't know if I have the magnets, to be honest. I don't think I have them. I did order some magnets, but where did I put them? No clue, but uh, not important. We can add the magnets later. It's just like one goes in on the bottom, one on the top, and then it automatically holds in place. Uh, no, I don't have anything, Asha. I, I think I ordered some from Amazon, but I don't know where I put them. I'll find them. Um, um, what do we do? We need now M three by eight. Do I have them here? M four. No, no. Maybe these. M three eight. Okay, so number one. Why not use bearings? Should be very cheap as well, make it a bit easier. Stubby made in the what? <laughs> I 
Um, yes. I have one here, but I prefer this one here. It's very, very easy to build. I think the diff the most difficult part of the whole thing is like buying all the parts. Oh, these are nice. Ah, now 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 I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Let's zoom out a little bit to not get that much shaking of the desk. Make sure you do not over tighten these since you screw into the 3D print. Okay, so this, we have this. And the last one. I don't know, like it's it's not worth it in terms of like if you want to save money. Like look at the Sim Magic stuff. You can you can buy the Sim Magic wheels that will have better build quality for less than what the parts of this cost. It's more about like I think the fun of building it. No, not not necessary. You screw into plastic, so this will uh, um, hold just fine. Okay, so that are the the clutch pedals done, minus the magnets, because well, <clears throat> no idea where I put them. I'll I'll find them. Okay, clutch for the clutch. We want the other. Where did I put them? This will this is a USB wheel will work with anything. Is this also wait what? Oh, never mind. Clutch lever. This is a bit better fit. Uh there will be magnets, I just don't know where I have them. Yes, works with any any wheel, uh, any base. The wheel works with any wheel. Uh, um, Have you tried the Leo XC? No. I tried the first wheel and it was shit.
kind of relaxing to do this. Um, I don't know what print technology I chose, to be honest. Whatever, I think, isn't it MJF? Whatever they recommended is what I did. Okay, number one, number two, I didn't print anything myself. I mean, I do have I do have 3D printers here that are decent, but you just cannot match the quality of those professional prints. I only have FDM printers here. I have a, a Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon and a Creality K1 Max. They are good printers, but they cannot print in this quality. With a little bit of post-processing, it can look good, but too lazy. <laughs> oh, a magnet again? Yeah, of course, for the... it's fine. Um... Okay. These are the 30 millimeter ones. Um, so this goes in here. And then we'll press pin in. Press, like, I will definitely have to secure it with a little drop of glue because so much for pressing it in. Okay, so that's the stuff. Spring. Uh, did I order springs? I did order springs. Dude, it's so, so many parts. Nah, I'll just I'll just add a drop of glue. Fuzzy skin, yeah, fuzzy skin looks pretty good. Holy resistance. <laughs> okay. Little workout.
Looks a little bit like the VRS throttle pad. <laughs> but holy shit, that is some resistance on the clutches. I mean, you can uh, you can cut the spring for a little less resistance, but I actually like it like this. Yeah, fuzzy skin looks looks decent. Mm, I guess mainly product segmentation. I mean, which wheel does not have rotary encoders, by the way? I can't think of any. Encoders are like 50 cents per part. Uh, AliExpress, mouse, uh, DigiKey, JLC. Pokorny is in Europe. Hun Hungary, I think? I'm not exactly sure. Thump and co uh, thump and quarters are the same price. I think it's mostly uh, to to keep features like to separate your cheaper wheels from your more expensive wheels. But an encoder is like 50 cents to one euro or something like that. Um, solder, a three-wire cable with three-pin XH 2.54 connector to the hall sensor. Yay. Yay. I love soldering. Take care of your eyes. Always use safety glasses. Always use safety glasses. <coughs> okay, where are the freaking sensors here? Uh, not on the shifters though, lol. Let's put these in a box, in case something falls out. I'm personally not a big fan of thump encoders. I don't know why so many people love those, but I guess uh, everyone has different preferences. What is this for? No idea. Um, huh? they just interesting. So these are hall sensors. In a, a THT version. Typically, like, they don't look like this. Normal hall sensors. This is like technology from 1912. Um, but these go in here.
So you just do this and then they go in here and you just glue it in place. And then there's the magnet on the other side here. Flix, thank you so much for the raid, appreciate it. And the sensor detects basically the distance between magnet and sensor and, gen and then generates an analog signal out of it. Still slightly, slightly odd. Um, for TC they are great. Or, I mean, I mainly do eye racing. you don't change anything in that game. <laughs> you like my watch? I also like my watch. It's a Garmin, Garmin Epix 2, I think. I've done 2,896 steps today. I should be ashamed. Okay, I'd say we'll glue these in and then solder the wire to it. Or not. Maybe easier the other way around. I hate soldering though. Do I have a uh, three pin? Yes. How long should the cable be? Heat shrink? I don't have heat shrink. We'll use hot glue. <coughs> um. Yeah, that's the con correct connector. Uh, does it say how long the cable should be? No? Oh, honestly, it doesn't say how long the cable should be. It does somewhere, yeah, right? I, I also thought I read that somewhere. Maybe in the bomb? Um, cable assembly. Hmm. Where? Uh, Digikey, JLC, AliExpress. Let's search for length. Cable lengths. Shifter switches. Analog pedals. Recommended length, 10 centimeters. Uh, Ten centimeters is roughly here. Uh, we sold our cables to the sensors. Sen sen sensors. I hate soldering. Roughly here. <laughs> uh, 
Can we do all three at once? No, probably not. Of course, you can cut it with scissors. For this, we'll actually go skiing. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, what's the pinning of these ancient sensors? Shifter switches, 200 millimeter cable length. What? I don't think I have that long cables. Um, hello, where is pinning? There's pinning. Bit, bit long. Okay. No. Too much solder. Okay, so what is it? This is kind of hard to see. Uh, okay. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Okay, so I assume signals in the middle, right? Eh? No, ground is in the middle. Tomb, okay. Have I mentioned yet that I hate soldering? Ah. 
grounds. And signal yellow. All right. Where's the other sensor? There. Uh, I use the TS, I have both. Uh, TS80 is better. TS101 is cheaper. Both sold there just fine. I should use each rank, but I don't have any. So, yeah, it is what it is. Um, I'm an electrical engineer. I hate soldering. Soldering is like the worst thing in the world. I just hate it. The deep prints I got from uh, JLC. Dude, why is that? So why did the other c camera turn off? Is this uh, just like Sony overheating? I mean, it's a freaking cinema camera, it shouldn't overheat. Battery's empty, okay, interesting. I guess the TV d doesn't, like I connected the USB plug to the TV, but I guess it doesn't have enough power. Let me plug in camera into the power supply. Okay, I don't know if this will work or turn off again. Um, we'll see. I love soldering, yeah, it's my favorite thing in the world. I wish I could solder all day. It would be my dream job. The thing is, I can't really see because the lighting is optimized for the camera, not for me seeing something. Okay, answer to the question is, it does not give enough USB power. Desk is filling up now. Okay. Oh, what do we have here? One of the Dan Suzuki QRs. <coughs> um, and now. We will glue these in. Uh, no. Oh, I still have coffee. Cold coffee. Cold coffee is best coffee. 
Uh, hot glue. Where did I put? Hot glue, where are you? It's getting messy here. Here it is. No, soldering is never fun. <laughs> I had to solder a lot at my old job. And I always hated it. A lot. A lot. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I cannot stress how much I hated it. At least I did have a proper microscope there. Clean this up afterwards. Where's the other one? Here. Mamba. Hot glue, cold coffee, no magnets. Yes. <laughs> I mean, no magnets, so it kind of feels like the grid shifters. Badumts. I don't have the badumts effect here. I had a super, super fancy uh, soldering station at my old job, an Erza Icon 2, like a 2,000 euro soldering station, but honestly it doesn't, like the TS-80 is not really worse. Dude, I like cold coffee. I don't like hot beverage. TS80 is worth the money, yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay. Well, clutch is done. Except for the magnet. I don't think like soldering is difficult or anything. I just don't like it. I don't like the smell. I mean, okay, I don't have a freaking fume extractor here. There's like literally nothing I like about soldering. Maybe like, you know, on my old job, I had to solder like the tiniest shit. Like you couldn't drink a coffee because then under the microscope, it looked like you know, the, your hands looked like this. Okay, that looks weird on stream now, but whatever. Um, what is this? Ah, the hall sensors. Yes, love, I love soldering. How about you? <sighs> okay. What next? Nothing was... Well, I think... I think there's a lot of... Oh, inserts for the, for the thing. 
We'll do the inserts for the thing. Okay. We'll take the other soldering iron. Oh, still hot. Two fifty degrees, yes. Uh same thread inserts, yes. This is the TS one hundred one. This is the TS ADP. You could swap the tips, but I just like to swap the soldering iron. <laughs> but I just put the the bag in the trash because the the thing the thing with the thing I've been watching too much friends lately the thing with the thing uh, the bag is empty now <clears throat> Okay Uh what? Uh huh. How many? 14! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. No, 14. no these soldering irons are cheap as hell. Uh, the good thing is. Um, I get them for free, basically, because the manufacturer where we make our PCBs for GSI, they have this bonus program where you get points for each order and then you can spend the points on stuff. And they have those miniware things. So I, I have like five of, of those TS-80 and TS-101 with uh, different tips. Where did I put the the thing? <laughs> I'm ah here. I'm not a very organized person when it comes to this. I don't know if you can tell, but uh... <laughs> hello, two hundred fifty degrees. Dude, I'm very unorganized. Ain't nobody got time for things. No, not on the felt. The felt felt that. I'm missing my Badumts button. Oh no, not again. I have a shitty microscope. Will that help? I guess not. What are we doing here right now, by the way? Uh-huh. Okay. No. Gerade so. Where's the hole? There it is. <laughs> yeah, the moment I said that, I knew that was a mistake. Uh, 
Uh, I think I'm. I do MJF. It's been some time since I ordered this stuff. <clears throat> this music is really shit. I wish YouTube had a had a VOD music track as well. But now they do it properly, so people get their money that they deserve. Unbelievable. Shit. Got stuck in the hole. There we go. Better. Just hear techno? Mm, thank you. I'd rather... I don't know. Not hear techno. Don't have enough inserts. It is kind of satisfying. It smells a bit. Not as bad as the freaking seed. Um, seed, seed. Dude, I'm playing too much freaking R Factor. Yesterday my girlfriend was complaining the seat is in the wrong position. So she changed it and I sat there, seat, 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 and she just had this look like, what is wrong with you, dude? <laughs> eh. Does it? One, two, three, four, eight, two, ten, two. yes. Good. Mirror, mirror. Exactly. Okay, can we turn on the camera again? The other one? Where's the switch? There's the switch. This camera has like the worst on-off button ever. It's like worse than the on-off button of the roadcaster. Ah. Okay. What else? What's next? Mount the backplate carbon fiber plate to the main enclosure. Okay. But where did I put it? Man knows it not. Thanks, Matt. Carbon fiber. Where did I put the carbon fiber? I put it somewhere, but that will not help. Um, huh? Am I stupid? Don't answer that. Ah, on the 3D printer. Where else? More plastic waste. Maybe, maybe, rookie. Who knows? Okay, very satisfying. Then we need the nuts. The mothers. M3 or what do I need? 
M3. 12. Please do not be a loose, it's a loose fit. Uh, M3 times 10. This here. Why did I not buy black screws? Am I Usher or what? How many wheels do you have? I don't know, like 50 or so. Okay. I think I need to drill a hole though. This is carbon fiber, yes. Um, no, it's not magnetic. No. Um, I do for my QR. It requires a pass through for the USB. I have to drill holes in every wheel. It's just like drilling into carbon fiber. Eh, not good. Not good. Yeah, I don't have any super glue. How much? I don't know, like 600, 700 euros for parts. I'd say roughly. These frickin' nuts are too small. That sounds weird out of context. M3. Not good. This is not good. Like, they will not properly grab here in the enclosure. Need to see if I can buy some other ones, but we'll still put it in here for now. Too small, huh? Not too short, too small. Or, or the 3D print is just not that great. See if I if I will tighten this screw. Wait, other camera will be better for that. It will just turn. Fail. Oh, it's fine. We'll put on the glue later and then tighten it. That's 
little little fail. Nah, I'll just add the glue later. How will the front and the back be connected? What earbuds? Uh, Xen Stop. Yeah, glue will fix it. I need just need to buy some. How on earth? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, some interesting things going on here. How to do it better? Head over to gomesimindustries.com and just buy. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> but I'm not rich. Then get rich. Easy, yeah. If you figured out how to get rich, please make a tutorial. I would love to get rich as well. <coughs> this is a bit silly because I'll show you. This is the button. I mean, it has buttons on the back, which is nice. Focus! Hey, camera, thank you. And the front looks like this. Same principle. Not held in place by the 3D print, but I'm supposed to like screw this like, I don't know. Probably a little drop of Loctite will help. I mean, there's, it's not like there's any, any thing, you know? <laughs> oh God. Eh? <sighs> What's next? Thumb rotaries. Well said, thank you. I appreciate it. Einfach erben. Nah, but then people need to die. It also sucks. Um, did I... What did I order for the rotary knobs? Metal. Number one. Oh, the ready wheel, uh, I also built that. Had no issues with that. Um... Okay. Oh god, what's crew for this? M3 by 5. Should probably hmm? I don't know, fits.
Yeah, but I think glue will be easier. what did you calibrate your printer oh my god what a pain in the ass ten millimeter Um, the, eh, that was the correct camera already, for, you see how the, uh, it does not hold the, the nut properly in place, like the nut will rotate inside the thing, you can see it here. I don't know why. Maybe I bought wrong nuts or so. Not a big deal. Oh no, forgot the knob. You never know with these AliExpress parts whether they, but um, on the other hand, a nut is a nut, huh? Okay. Now we need the set screws. Hot glue. No, this is not something for hot glue. I need like a, a very... How to call that? A glue that flows very well. Like with a higher low viscosity. <laughs> I don't know. But so far that has been the only problem. Uh, the only other thing... Um, this... These um, press fit things. Like the holes are a little bit too big, I think. Like it... it you can put it in and out with your hands. Or you need a tiny drop of glue there as well. Not a big deal. It's just tolerances. Uh, especially with 3D printing. You, you never know what's going to happen. Uh, we will not use the... Switch. <coughs> Uh, 
I'll get some some nice glue and then uh, that should fix the problem. Yeah, if you're not afraid of actually building it, then the price is really nice for what you're getting. And it's not it's not difficult to build it. Like anybody that can like like everybody can build it. I'm I'm pretty sure. Oh wow, okay. I'll just uh look for some very I, I don't know the English word. Sehr, sehr flüssiger Kleber. Very good flowing glue. <laughs> okay, what did I want to do? I forgot. Ah, the set screw. What what set screw do I need for those knobs? Um, M3, M3, 5, where is it? I have some other nuts here, maybe those work better. Oh, it's too many parts that you need, especially if you're not organized. I can recommend being organized. Nah, no, just kidding. Hey, where did I... Where did I put the set screws? Do I have them here? No? Yes? M3. What's the total price? I don't know. It depends. Uh, they say you should solder the cable to the encoder before putting it in, but I like to do it while it's already in there. Oh, these feel nice. Feel nice. Okay, let's see if the other <laughs> nuts maybe work better. Where do I put them? Oh my god, it's it's uh <sighs> Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Messy? No. I just don't have enough 
space. Here. Where is my sheep layer? No. These do not work better. Okay. Um, USB connector. We will skip that. I'll I'll go uh, into the QR through this. I think that's well, also not ideal. Hmm. Use this little spacer. Don't watch. Wait, do I not have uh, one of those somewhere? Okay, so I can either go use this hole here and then go in there into the QR, or I'll just drill a hole. But that is something I need to do outside because carbon fiber is really, really, really not healthy and then we can connect here to the usb the qr will be too wide really Probably F. Spacer? Nah, not putting on a spacer. I'm 
Not using any steering wheel that needs spacers on my rig. Um, We'll, we'll assemble this. I need to take it apart again to to fit the the magnets. But until then, I just want to see how it looks when put together. How is this meant to be? Is this the... Uh, yes, it's just USB. I have no idea how this is meant to be. The other way around. Okay. M3. This here, M three eight millimeter, yes. No, I got the carbon fiber parts from Pokorni. Very nice quality, can recommend. <coughs> Okay. Uh, I developed that myself. I think I put the uh, the things. <laughs> I can only talk like that today. The wrong way. Yeah, and the QR. I, uh, that's the that's the Suzuki QR. Things and stuff. Yes. Exactly. Careful with the spring. I was annoyed that uh, there are so many different QRs. So I made my own kappa. <laughs> exactly. Um, okay, so this mounts like this. I know, I know. <laughs> Situation, there are 14 competing standards. <laughs> no, there is no QR that is as good as the one that I made though. Like it can, 
do USB pass through and power delivery. And it works with every steering wheel, with every wheelbase. Works with USB wheels that use 5 volt. It works with power delivery boards that use well more than 5 volt. Yeah. Eigenlob stinkt. Yeah, but it is the best QR. It uses uh, the energy style QR that you can buy for like 30 euros for a wheel side. And the electronics for it, uh, the base, uh, the wheel. Hmm. I mean, if you just use um, wheels without power delivery, then you can put the expensive part on the base side. I mean, the expensive part costs five dollars per board, and the cheap side costs uh, one dollar for five boards. But I would recommend to put the cheap side on the base because the, the base side just gives the power. And then in the wheel side, you can do the USB refresh. Um, you can do the either 5 volt or 9 volt or 12 volt or whatever. It's it's really nice. Yeah, I made my own QR. Here I can show you. This works with any NRG style QR. So Moza, Simagic, NRG, whatever. This is for example with the Simagic style. Uh, in this case with a cube controls wheel. And it has um, pogo pins for power, ground obviously, and USB data. And then on the other side of the board, Wait. <coughs> it's a broken board, but uh, still same principle applies. Can you focus? Hello. It has a little USB chip. It has a power, uh, swi uh, power switching power supply that generates like 5 volt or 9 volt. Ignore this. Like I tried to unsolder something, but I failed. So this is a broken board, but this is... Uh, the one side, this is the other side. <coughs> uh, no, I still need to see how I can like sell it or something. I still need to install the wires here, but I still um, will mount it because I just want to get a feel for the whole thing. Then I need to search the magnets. I need to order some 
some good working hot glue and then we'll probably do the rest in part two or so. Okay, it doesn't fit, why? Well, because I'm an idiot. Never tighten the screws until you have all screws mounted. This one goes here. I need to make like a custom backside so I can use G's eye shifters. They are free, Kappa. <laughs> Uh, I think I. the idea will be, uh, I don't know yet, like, I would love to, like, sell a QR like that, but the problem is selling a finished product uh, in Europe, good luck with that, good luck with the regulations. This is, this is why we can't have nice things in Europe, this is why there's no innovation in Europe. <clears throat> Where did you source the screen? I took apart a GSI wheel and stole the screen from that. That way I get it for free. <laughs> uh, don't tell Gomez. <laughs> Nah, it's an old uh, GT Max prototype that didn't work anyways. Was just hanging on the wall. GT Max has a 5 inch screen, yes. Maybe like selling the, the GABA files in the Pokorni style could be a good solution for now. I think if you just sell the source files, you don't have to like, I mean, you still need to have a registered business, but I do have that for my streaming stuff anyways. So maybe, maybe, I don't know.
Uh, right now I use normal headset. DT797. But usually those in-ears in the link. Uh, same screws. Yeah. We'll just use two screws or so to hold it in place. I just want to get a feel for the wheel because I, I need to, I need to order some sort of hot glue. So we can continue with the build. Bonk. No, to hold the, the nuts into place and the, the bolts. I used a uh, hot glue for... For the hold sensors, yeah. No, I got the PCB at JLC. Looks good. Yes, Patrick, works with any wheel. Any USB wheel. I mean, okay, any USB wheel up to 18 volts, but yeah. The grid wheels also work fine at 5 volt, by the way. Interesting. Let's actually put on the front. Um, what do I need? M4 by 10 countersunk. These ones here. Seven? Seven? Okay. What? Honestly, M4? Those are tiny, tiny, tiny screws. Why such small screws? Image is a little dark. Can make the lights a bit. No, I can't for whatever reason. Um. <coughs> F6. <laughs> that better yeah uh, still we're gonna use this camera here for now m5 didn't fit everywhere okay Right, now I guess this goes on top here and then we'll just same screws. Ah, these are where the carbon fiber parts come into place. 
Optional step. Glue the front plate cover parts to the front plate. Eh. I see, I see. Yeah, same screws. Okay, we still need to do something here, obviously, but I wanna quickly... Let's also mount a few buttons. Just wanna get a feel for it, you know? And then I'll head over to Amazon. and buy glue. You know what, we'll just mount all the buttons. They are the ones from TME. Yeah, yeah I, I got the old ones. Then I read that it can be a bit too unstable. And then I bought the other ones. <laughs> Buttons feel good. Ah, like um, that white material, I guess. Plug it in? No. It's not done. I need to do some soldering still. And I need to buy some some glue. Right, thank you for becoming a supporter. Appreciate it. Or member, or... Dude, I'm so bad with YouTube. Where are the other ones? What are those screws on the side here? This song is so annoying. Nice. Yeah, same resistance as grit. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, uh, here, right? Those were these here, I think.
Did I? Ah, this is the stuff with the nuts, right? I don't know, like the grips are very greasy a bit. I don't know if I can somehow clean them or what's going on there. See that? Maybe I just have to clean, clean it a bit. Feels very, very good, to be honest. Alcohol, okay. Those are the PE grips, yeah. Funky switches, in decent reach, not perfect, but I think it's not a big deal. Like people make make it a big deal that you need to like have access to the funky switch like in the middle of the corner. Uh, this is fine. These feel good. Let's install. Oh. It feels good. It f it feels very good. Um. Where did I? Oh god, like today's stream summed up in one sentence. Where is insert random part name? Okay, this is to glue on. And now I even forgot what I was searching. <laughs> ah, the the ding. If in doubt on the 3D printer? Yeah, indeed, on the 3D printer. So this then still goes on top here, but I sh uh, I'm not gluing it on now because, well, you know why. Still need to finish it up, everything. But this will this will look great. Grips are very very nice. It's like a slim to medium grip size, I would say. It's not as slim as as Grit or Asha. Not as beefy as Cube Controls or GSI. Somewhere between those. Closer to Usher than to Cube Controls. But it feels very comfortable. So yeah, I think position of this is nice. I need to find the magnets. I don't know where I put them. Um... And we need the glue to glue these things into place a bit. And the nuts. And then we'll finish it up. I think. Do I have a USB? I would love to see if the board works now. <laughs> yeah, it's maybe a bit softer. Definitely better ergonomics than the McLaren wheel from Asha. <clears throat> then this shifter is in impression 3D too. Dude, selling selling a glass with Cosworth, like you, I'm sure you can find someone in China that does it. But if you're in Europe, or like anywhere not in China, you sh you shouldn't sell stuff like that. It's, I mean, it's illegal. <laughs> and if Cosworth finds it out, they will not be too pleased. Also, like, come on, why would you want to have Cosworth on it when it's not a Cosworth wheel? You don't even need the magnets. It's just uh, the tension from the switch. <laughs> Hmm. 
no, feels good. Looking forward to finishing this thing, but I think we'll do that in the next one. You can put any shifters on this. You will have to customize the the mounting holes, obviously, but a shifter, like you can put any shifter that is that works with the switch. So Usher, GSI, Grid. I don't know. Will that big QR fit? Let's check. Nope. <laughs> Fail. This one won't fit. This one also won't fit. <coughs> With a spacer. Maybe with a spacer, just a thin spacer. Hard to tell. I mean, like, worst case, you know, you need like a bigger spacer, but. I bought magnets, I just don't know where I put them. That's the problem. Yeah, I'll just print something that clears the shifters. Not ideal, but it's fine. Like anything till like 20 millimeters or so typically is not a big deal. Yeah, you can use Asha shifters. The old one. The new ones are hall sensor, I think. But give these a try. They seem decent. I mean, there's some play, obviously, but... Um, what was in here, and why are there two tiny washers? Or O-rings? What uses O-rings? No idea. Okay, I don't know why I ordered 11 switches. <laughs> no, definitely not. Definitely don't do that. Oh yeah, probably the buttons. You're right. But I guess we don't use that since we uh, screw those in. Okay, so far, I mean, I'm very, very impressed with how this turned out. Buttons could be a bit bigger. Uh, they wobble around. Oh, never mind. There are button guards. We need to test with the button guards. <coughs> yeah, yeah, we need to test with the button guards. <laughs> yep. 
Yeah, with the button guards, it fits very, very well. This is how it looks. Also, it's a 3D printed button guard. I think this MJF stuff looks really nice. Fingerprints! Overexposed now. No, very nice. I like it. Fun project so far. <clears throat> I do have printed encoder knobs here. Yeah. They look nice in MJF, but I would probably use some GSI knobs. Yeah, I think, yeah, I don't know how, how long the glue will take till it arrives. I'll probably order it now. You can just print white ones, yeah. The GSI knobs do not fit, no. But do you, any, any questions left for today? No flex or like no noticeable flex. We are going to test it when it's done, yeah. What are you going to do to make them fit? Make what fit? Do you like soldering? I love soldering. I wish I could solder all day. This is not a kit, but you get a, a bill of material with all the parts that you need. Um, and you get the 3D print files. You can either print it yourself or you can print them at JLC, for example. That's what I did. You don't need a 3D printer. This has better fit and finish than some wheels. I'm not going to name any manufacturer names here. Uh, with CNC parts and injection molding. But okay. <coughs> Dude, these things are everywhere. Everywhere. Okay, I think it's time to clean up this mess. Fanatec? No, not Fanatec. Fanatec has, uh, is decent with that. <laughs> Talking about GSI, of course. No, I'm just kidding. <clears throat> Also not Moser. I'm not gonna give you any names, but it's not Fantag, it's not Moser. It's this Balkan. No, I'm just kidding. <clears throat> it's not Balkan. What about what would be the total cost? I did, it depends a little bit on what parts you go with, where you source them. I would say like roughly six to seven hundred euros. Depends on if you want to do the grips yourself, if you want 3D printed grips, if you buy the grips from Pokorni, that's what I did and I can definitely recommend it. Don't cheap out on the grips. Um, I mean, it is possible to do this at home. Like, I mean, look at Slav. But holy hell, I am, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Yeah, these are silicon type grips. Focus on the wheel camera. 
It's a little, I need to clean it up. It's a bit greasy right now. There's the flexing. It will flex a little bit, but eh. Sim racers will sit there. Will it flex? Will it flex? Instead of just driving. <coughs> but yeah, that's it for today. More, maybe later this week, maybe next week. Uh, I will announce it in advance so you can watch the finished build. I will probably do some of the soldering, like switches. I probably will do that off stream because like you need proper light and it's just just me like being mad. Like if you want that, you can go watch pub. <laughs> uh, um, but no, for real. Meng. TPU is better than ABS? Depends. Like in a GT3, you definitely want to use ABS. I'm so funny. <clears throat> these, these QRs, uh, I don't know how to like read it. I am pretty sure this is exactly the same company that makes the Sim Magic and the Moza ones. It even came with the same board that the Sim Magic uses. And these are 35 euros. So, yeah. Anyways, time to clean up and play Battlefield. <laughs>